folks, KristenForGuns.com. Thanks again for joining me today. And while you can see the snow is melting and winter is finally loosening its grip, it's still a good time in the off season to get back to basics. And when we talk about basics, we're talking shotgunning today. And while all the focus falls on the shotgun itself, what we need to look at and understand are the chokes. And while this is a more basic understanding, there might be some tidbits of information in here for even the most advanced shooters. So let's break down what chokes are, how they work, and why we need a good understanding of that, not just for hunters, but target shooters and home defenders as well. At its most basic level, a choke is the narrowing or a constriction of a shotgun barrel at the muzzle. And that's intended to control the spread of the shot, which is what we call the pattern. We'll see here the two main types of fixed choke that we see here and a mix of interchangeable choke tubes for barrels that are threaded, which allows us to change the choke on those shotguns. Choke tubes, whether interchangeable or fixed on a shotgun barrel, essentially change or control the pattern of the shot that's sent out when a shotgun is fired. Tighter tubes, like the full that we see here in the Beretta, will put out the tightest patterns. And moving down, we see a modified choke that's more of a mid-range and on down the line to skeets, all the way down to cylinder chokes, which are generally considered not to have any constriction at all. So we've learned a bit about different types of chokes, but how do you know exactly what kind of choke you have? Whether you're new to shotgunning or even for veterans, ch chokes are marked differently. Fixed chokes in a gun don't come out, so how do we know what they are? You can look a lot of times at the outside of the barrel. It'll be marked along the receiver. Sometimes on an over and under, you need to break that gun open and find the marking inside. It may be written out as full mod IC for improved cylinder, or some manufacturers, especially older ones, instead of writing it out, use a series of markings. Stars and dashes mean different types of chokes. Sometimes we have to search online to find what those are on older guns, but there are basics to everything, and you can find that if you look at my full review on guns.com where we break down more about those choke markings. Knowing what choke you have is a lot easier when we have the interchangeable or removable chokes. When you take them out, you'll see a lot of times printed here right on the side of the choke, full, modified, a lot of them will include the constriction, 0.75 or whatever it might be, and that'll give you some idea of what that constriction is on the choke tube. If there is no writing, you want to look at the end of the tube. Some manufacturers will use a series of notches. That shows you when it's flush mounted in the gun without taking it out what you have. One notch generally means full, three means mod, and that's true for most manufacturers. Of course, we always have some anomalies, so we want to double check to know for sure. We know now what choke tubes are. We can talk about the different constrictions of choke tubes, and that starts out generally at the high end with your extra full, those turkey choke being the tightest, going down to full. That's a common one that you get with the guns. When you buy a shotgun and you get tubes, you usually get full, modified, and improved cylinder. That gives you a nice range. We can come down from full to an improved mod, then a modified. That's kind of your do-all basic choke if you're only going to have one. We come on down from that, improved cylinder tubes. The cylinder is very open, and then a skeet tube, which really gives you a nice open pattern for those sporting shooters. We've covered most of the basics on choke tubes, but there are some special considerations. And while we don't have time to get into all of that today, there are a couple important things to discuss. One, if we have interchangeable choke tubes, we never, ever, under any circumstances, shoot that gun without a choke tube in place. That doesn't make you a more open wide pattern. All you'll do is ruin the threads and ruin your barrel and possibly even cause some harm to yourself. So always have that tube in the barrel, always have it nice and tight, and check it from time to time because they can loosen up. The next thing we need to discuss in special considerations are things like using steel shot versus lead shot. Lead is generally a little softer and more forgiving. You can shoot it through all the choke tubes. When we shoot steel, we need to be mindful of different choke tubes. Some manufacturers don't want you to shoot steel through a full or an extra full choke. Some types of shots, specialty shots out there on the market, especially for waterfall, have their own chokes that are designed to work only for that type of shot. You can't fire them through a standard choke tube. These are things you want to read your manual, check with your manufacturer, check the ammunition that you're using, and make sure you're being safe in the field. One last thing we want to discuss, I know some of you are getting bummed out because you have at home an older fixed choke shotgun and you're thinking, man, I really wish I had those interchangeable tubes. Well, don't fret. Some of my favorite shotguns are fixed tube barrels. And if I want a different choke, you have an option of buying another barrel with a different choke, or you just head out to the patterning board and learn how to use that gun to your best advantage. And I'll tell you what, 
A lot of times those old fixed chokes, which is the constriction right machined into the barrel, give you the best patterns, even better than some interchangeable tubes. So use what you got, learn to use it well, be confident, and learn to love it. Because I'll tell you what, a good shotgun will take care of you every time. While all our discussion today is on the choke tubes themselves, sometimes we want to make some adjustments outside of that tube, or we have a fixed tube. What are the things that we can change? One is distance. I can be 20 yards, maybe to 40 yards with one shotgun. Maybe my other shotgun with a fixed full choke can reach out to 60 yards. It's a matter of knowing that distance and how that pattern spreads out. And where do we learn that? At the patterning board. You'll want to check out the video that we're doing after this one about how we pattern our shotguns, why we do it, and why it's so important to being ethical, confident shotgunners. In addition to distance, the other factor we can consider and that we can control is ammo selection. While we might grab the cheapest target load on the shelf, we can control a lot more with different types of shot, different sizes of shot, different lengths of shotgun shells, and that will give us much different patterns and different capabilities on the user end of that shotgun. So we can look at specialty shots like the tungsten super shot, which is super heavy, much more dense than steel or lead, and you're using a lot smaller shot size. So you might be shooting number nine shot instead of a number six shot. So you're putting a lot more pellets on that target through the same choke tube. In the same way, we can change shot sizes down to smaller shot. When I'm shooting waterfall, I'm shooting number twos, number threes, or BB, so bigger shot with less shot in there, but I'm still getting myself a nice pattern depending on which choke tube I've selected, and I learned that all at the patterning board. Now that we've studied and talked a little bit about choke tubes, we're going to head to the patterning board and test out the guns we plan to use this year. Turkey season's right around the corner. I have a while to wait for a waterfall and then there's varmint season, but now's the time in the off season to get those shotgun choke tubes taken care of, patterned on the board, and ready to go so that I'm a confident, comfortable, capable hunter and shooter when those seasons roll around. I'm Kristen for Guns.com. Thanks for joining me today. Be sure to read that full article where I break down more details on choke tubes and how they work and the different markings in that article. Give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channels for more content like this coming your way. And don't forget to check out the Guns.com vault just in case you're in the market for another used or new shotgun.